We got fresh lipper in, probably a new beer ready. We're going with number 17 while I go and piss. That's right, Z. Florida traded their pick to your favorite Montreal Canadiens. Why don't you tell us, talk through some of the thought process, but who are you personally taking for the Montreal Canadiens here at 17 overall? All right. So I'm going to have to rag the puck for a while here because I got to remember, first of all, who I've already picked. Um, But you know what? This is a pick where, you know, there's certain teams that in these drafts are playing with house money. And I've already got them drafted. Uh, so this is their second pick in that first round. They nailed the draft last year. They're really loaded in essentially, it feels like every position in their prospect pool. Um, so this is where I kind of start flirting with the idea of really taking a home run swing specifically on that back end. And I kind of wonder if this is where you start thinking about a kid like Kelgayev. So again, I was quite literally just talking about him, but he could not be more boomer bust, all offense defenseman, like a whole lot of fun, but incredibly risky. And realistically, they should tell him to not, like even bother coming into his own zone and the idea of them drafting him after having lane hudson is very funny to me so i'm flirting with that idea but i I also you're talking about now but that's brilliant can you (laughs) imagine if they have again so i just described to you (laughs) goyaev imagine him and lane hudson on the same team you don't even need any forwards on the ice um it's so, like that's really funny in my head, dude. Imagine but... them paired up with like just a stalwart, like defensive forward group. Like, think mm-hmm. if Phil Deneau is still there and he's on the ice with those two. Like, well, it doesn't matter, man. It's just a They've got a situation. They're already there, dude. Like, they got Owen Beck in the fucking second round last year. That's a joke. And like, you want to talk about a well-rounded fucking center? Whether he's a he's got fucking two C potential, but another kid that like is a dream of a fucking third line center. Who's got, he's like a guy that you're sitting there. Like, yeah. Hit the, the, the hallmark of his game is the fact that he's a two way center. He's a 200 foot player, but he also can chip in on a third line, 40 to 50 points for you. Like Owen Beck's a stud in that way. And Again, like just the last couple of years, they've loaded the fuck up with their prospect pool. And again, I think they, it's insane to me that that's, they got Slavkovsky, Messar, uh, uh, who is the fucking um, kid they took, or do they trade back? God damn it. Who are their three first rounders last year? I know oh, they took, nuts. Oh, oh, I they know added they, Kirby Doc. They traded for Doc. And then they got Slavkovsky and his countryman. Mesar. Yeah. Man, like they're loaded everywhere. So I kind of want, but in that way, you know what? I actually, this might be where I go for Gabe Perot, where crazy NHL level shot. He's on that line with Will Smith and Ryan Leonard at the USN TDP. And he's putting up record type numbers as well on that line. And he just, again, plays super hard, not the same level of power forward as a guy like Leonard, but kind of the same mold. But I think he actually has more playmaking ability. Mm -hmm. The skating isn't necessarily uh, good and it's really not correctable, but he's also a guy that, especially when he's playing with really good players, it doesn't fucking matter. So, I think this is where I go for uh, Gabe Pro, actually. Even though the idea of Lane Hudson and Mikhail Gliayev on the same team at the same time. Like, imagine Isaac, both of them. It's two, like, it's top hilarious. six forwards. It's two top six forwards. Like, they instantly become, like, in this loaded prospect pool, those are your 
those are two top like 12 fucking all skill guys but i think gabe perot here would be a uh, a welcome addition to this prospect pool that it's insane like imagine you've got a line of this guy who again he's put up like 100 points in like fucking 50 something games he's got the crazy shot he can play make the into he's playing with like kirby doc and fucking um uh the kid i was just talking about oh and back like i mean so i think gay pro here and this is about a this is a pretty good spot too mm-hmm. like timing wise and again they've already uh taken who did i give them with the sixth pick well with the fifth pick you gave them zach benson but let, let's I, oh I my god i forgot that's who it was i got a question for you though all right Mm-hmm. Boston hockey period. This isn't the Boston Bruins, right? This is BC, BU, local Boston hockey, whatever. Do you love Boston hockey more or do you hate the Montreal Canadiens more? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I hate Montreal with a, with a passion that burns, but like, there's like Boston hockey. Like I'm not a, a ride or die BC Northeastern or BC guy. B U B C or Northeastern. Sorry, <laughs> I okay. said B C B C or B C. Yes, I'm not gonna. So, the reason I asked that: What if we had Lane Hudson going to Montreal at five? B U so, or B U? Sorry, I know, but he's a B. So Lane Hudson, B U guy. Then yeah. you've got fucking. Sorry, did I say B C? I meant B U. Got you. Got me all fucking twisted up now. No, Here's I'm just thinking about this in my head. Going to Montreal, but then also if Montreal goes Will Smith at five. And then at 17 goes with Gabe Perot. Like, would that break you a little bit personally to have that many Boston guys going to Montreal? Or is that irrelevant to you? That's irrelevant to me. Okay. Like the fact that they'd all, they're all going to be here is so fun. Cause I get to go see them before. So like, again, I said this before too, about BC cutter. Goche sounds like he's staying at BC. Now they're getting this, Literally, like these guys are going to play together on the same line again. Smith, Leonard, and fucking Perot. They're going to be on the same line again in college. That's so cool. Like they are going to, and Minnesota is so close to getting that. So close. And BU went off this year. A lot of those guys are staying. And I don't know if it's next year. I think it it might be next year. BU is also going to be adding the uh, front runner right now for the 2024 first overall pick, Macklin Celebrini. And they might get Tom Willander next year. So, like, dude, dude, that's right. Tom Willander, I forgot. But, dude, he's uh, going to be you. That's what, so that's why he only played. I think he like featured in one SHL game this year for Rogla because at a certain point you become ineligible for college. Um, so I believe, I don't even know if he actually played the game either. Like, I don't know if he's actually played SHL minutes. I'd have to look at it again, but I believe. I know if he's going, if he ends up going to college, it's BU. So, like, they could get Willander, they'll have Hudson, they'll have fucking Celebrini versus BC, who's going to have Gauthier, Smith, Perot, Leonard. Like, that rivalry is so back to the point where both are going to be elite fucking teams, and it's going to be sick. Now, I got to ask then Owen Power, Adam Fantilli, Macklin Celebrini, which sick fucking name, by the way. Is Hockey Canada on the hot seat? Especially now the WHL is pulling away from Hockey Canada. Like, what the fuck's happening there? WHL's not. The BCHL is. I think. Oh, the, the BCHL. BCHL. You're you're right. I apologize. I apologize. You're hey, right. Brat. There there's one. Isha, kid Isha that... tells me the BCHL is the best league in Canada, so I get a little confused sometimes. <laughs> it's funny, dude. The BCHL they have like every every draft they got a couple kids, and this year they do that. He's got a chance to go late first round, and he's probably got the best shot in this draft and Bradley Nato and he's going to fucking U Maine. Um he, Six this, jerseys. Oh yeah, electric. Dude, and that best jerseys. Dude, sick fucking barn. Like that rank is fucking unbelievable. I need to I know. need to see a game there to be honest. I haven't you Sounds would awesome. you would love you main dude it is an absolute wasteland of dude, fucking so like it's all same. fucking hey we like to be outside we like to drink and we love hockey <laughs> like, fuck that's it. awesome 